I'm uh, Kevin Cameron and I'm going to talk about a subject so antiquated that uh, nobody knows anything about it anymore or needs to even and that is spark plug reading. Today's motorcycles take care of the fuel air ratio automatically. They have an oxygen sensor in the exhaust pipe which continuously monitors the state of combustion and the ECU on your engine corrects this. It wasn't always so. In the days of carburetors, if the sun went behind a cloud or a cold front moved in, or the barometer went up or down, you had to do the compensating yourself because there was no, well, the human was the active system, the carburetor was the passive system. After every practice at the races, a mechanic would remove the spark plugs from the engine and lay them out in order for inspection. The tuner would, using a small magnifier, often with the light in it, look in detail at the end, that is the part of the spark plug that's in the combustion chamber and is part of it, to discover evidence of how the combustion process is going. Is it rich? Is it lean? Is the spark too advanced? All the evidence is there to be read. But once again, fair-sized bets were made on the rightness of spark plug reading, and it wasn't always right. When you look at the end of a spark plug, you have to make a distinction between, is this a spark plug that has done 5,000 miles on the street, or is this a spark plug that was put into this engine, brand new, and has now run a seven lap practice? A spark plug does not clean up from being dark and dirty. So that's why in racing people were constantly putting new spark plugs into their engine because it was basically using a used spark plug to evaluate your combustion it would be like using a red handkerchief to find out if you had a bloody nose. Spark plug is assembled from this part which is called the shell, the ground electrode which is resistance welded to it, and the insulator, which is this ceramic part, which has a rod going down through it. The ignition source clips onto the top of the rod and the spark jumps from the tip of the electrode to the ground. And one of the things that tuners were looking for is down some distance from the tip of the insulator, they wanted to see a dark ring. And what that dark ring indicated was that the mixture was not yet too lean. Because when this thing is running in the engine, the ground electrode and the tip electrode are the hottest things in the combustion chamber, hotter even than the exhaust valve. There is a temperature gradient from hottest at the tip of the insulator cooler, cooler, until you get up to here, which is where it seals against the inside of the shell. This is the cool end, this is the hot end. If there is a best power mixture in the engine, that means that there is some free carbon in the combustion gas. And you will see that carbon as forming a ring at some point along this temperature gradient. The farther it is toward the hot end, the richer your fuel mixture. The farther it is toward this end, the leaner. That's why all the peering went on. And that's also why in NASCAR, they run to the lathe and cut this crimped part of the spark plug off so they can pull the thing out and just look at it without having to go through a lot of acrobatics with a magnifier staring down into the shell. The tip here is sheared in manufacturing to adjust its length. So it has a sharp edge when it's brand new. But as the spark plug operates, the very, that sharp edge is slowly eroded by the spark and it may be, it may begin to soften from combustion heat, rather like a broken off glass rod, becomes less and less sharp the longer you hold it in a Bunsen flame. But that's the basic story on spark plugs. What you're looking for 
is first of all to use clean spark plugs if you're going clean or brand new spark plugs if you're going to get good information in a racing setting. You can't expect old used spark plugs to clean up to current conditions. The second thing is that the nose of the insulator is a temperature gradient, hottest at the tip, coolest up near the gasket. And somewhere along that length, if there is free carbon in combustion, you will see a dark ring. The height of the ring indicates, or I should say the depth of the ring, indicates how close you are to correct mixture. But isn't it relaxing to know that the ECU and the oxygen sensor are taking care of all this nonsense. You don't need to juggle hot spark plugs. You don't have them rolled up into mechanics cloth on the seat back of your bike so that some photographer comes by and brushes them off because he wants to get a clean shot. And there go your spark plugs on the ground and you no longer know which one is number one, two, three, etc. Progress.